So this is the final day of Sail Melbourne. I'm John Emmett and I'm joined by the radial winner, Stefan. So congratulations, beat, uh, well, obviously you won the events, you beat everybody, uh, but including world champions, Olympic gold medalists. I mean, you must be uh, really, really happy. Yeah, well, it's been a really um, tough week here and like amazing to race against these girls. Not many people get this opportunity and it's really cool to be able to race with like the world's best. Um, and yeah, really enjoyed the week, managed to keep it quite consistent. So that helped me today when I had not such a good race. And um, yeah, it was nice to come away with the win. And I think uh, you haven't been in the class for that long. How long have you been in, in the radial for? Um, I've been in the radial for about a year and a half. So yeah, I've done 4.7s for about another probably year and a half before that. And um, yeah, and made this jump into radials now. And, and by, by the look of you, you're, you're on your way to the, to the standard. Uh, how old are you at the moment? I'm 16, so I turned 17 in March. And um, yeah, so moving to the four rig maybe next year. We'll see how it goes. And uh, you also did the, the nationals at uh, Sandringham, which has been a fantastic venue. Um, your performance at Sandringham, not, not as good as here. What, what was the difference between the two regattas? Um, I think in Sandring, uh, at nationals, my results were very inconsistent. and that. But why? That's the, so I've got my coach's hat on. Yeah. Why do you think that was? Um, I think I just wasn't backing my judgment on the wind shifts and everything. And um, so you need to believe believe in yourself. Yeah, I think I think I have the skill set. I just wasn't implementing it as much as I could have at nationals. So yeah, it was trusted myself more here, and it definitely worked. Uh, did you do anything different with the with the build up to this this event, or you just were more confident in your sailing approach? Um, I think this event for us nationals and youths were our peak events, and this event I was here to just you know learn as much as I could from the girls. Well, you obviously you obviously peaked. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. Um, yeah, so it's a good week. And, and what's next for you? Because uh, in terms of the European season, we haven't even started yet. So Yeah, um, well, we will definitely be doing men's worlds here um, in February and then maybe the youth worlds in Poland later on in the year. So see how it goes. But I'll be training here between now and men's worlds. So, so where, where are you normally based? What's your, your home club? Australia, for, for the likes of us, is a huge country. Yeah, um, I'm based in Perth. So I sail at Fremantle Sailing Club predominantly and at South Perth Yacht Club as well. So we have a bit of everything down there with like, you know, big waves at Frio and then the flood. Of I remember the doctor. But I remember that sort of 20, uh, 2011, the world's there. I certainly remember the doctor. So is that, that where your strong wind speed comes from, do you think? Yeah, I suppose so. I mean, we sail in it five days a week, so you get pretty used to it. Five days a week? Crikey, I'm, <laughs> I'm lucky to get one these days. And we just wish you all the very best. We're going to be watching your uh, progress and congratulations. Thank you very much. Good man.